here's a, a collection of dresses that I had worked on. Um, and I took one of these typical 3D patterns that I've worked with for many, many years. I think I've been doing digital patterns for about 30 years now, taking advantage of technology because I realized with technology, I could make patterns that never existed before in history. So I take a lot of those patterns. And this is a pattern particular to me that actually this kind of soft organic form that looks like it's radiating was done, and I called it Blobject, which is really a soft object. So it's an object that has no straight lines. Anyway, I took the pattern and when I started working on the dresses and repeated it. And because I was restricted by the size of the printing of 3D, I cut undulated around the pattern so that each piece would then fit together and to make the dress. So I might, that was my constraint in a way, but I'm glad I had that constraint because it afforded me new kind of forms, let's say. And then there was so much experimentation, this is the beauty of this technology, of what color to make the polymer and what fabric to use. So we tried maybe, honestly, about 20, 30 combinations, different fabrics, different color polymers to see what kind of effects we could get. So if you look closely at this, for example, it, although it looks like it's going from yellow to black, it's actually all transparent yellow. But the thing is, when it's very short, it looks like it's black because of the fabric, not because of the polymer. When it gets higher, the 3D printing, and we can go even higher than this if we want, you start to see the yellow. So you get this nice effect. So when this is moving, let's say on a woman, you would see it shifting and changing. And I find the beauty of all this technology, actually, is that I can do things here that I could never do with the hand. And I can add infinitum, be creative. There's no, there's no constraints forever. You can go on forever. So uh, that in itself is fantastic. But even more so, that Stratasys, the, what I love is that we are taking 2D fabric and we're making it 3D. And classically or historically, the way we did these kind of things was hand sewing, hand sequencing, et cetera, you know, like a lot of hand. Here we have a machine doing it, which means also that these dresses could be made on demand. You press a button, you order one, it's printed for you. You don't fill a warehouse or shops full of clothes, which is a big problem with fast fashion and fashion in general, and then find all this excessive fashion that nobody buys and then we burn it or we deal it. So really, you know, the technology is also very uh, sustainable, which I really love too. Um, and then for me, it was to make some shapes and dresses that are a bit more timeless, meaning that anybody could really wear these. That's my intent, because I'm a democratic designer at the end of the day. I'm a big believer that you design things for people, not for museums, you know, or for one-off. I'm a believer in production. I love the idea of production, always worked in it. So that's really the idea. There's some more series of the dresses that are not here, um, but that's the intent. So it's really nice working with Stratasys, really. I mean, the technology is so beautiful. I, I'm, I'm enamored by it. And in fact, I was overwhelmed because it, uh, there's so much you can do that I didn't even know where to start, if that makes sense.